Hi, so what happens during a chemotherapy admission? Most of the chemotherapy admissions are daycare basis. So you come on the same day and go back on the same day. So if it's the first cycle of chemotherapy, usually you get a detailed explanation about the nature of the disease as well as the planned chemotherapy regimen. And you'll undergo a few basic blood tests. Also, you'll undergo an ECG and an echo. This will help us determine whether you're fit enough for chemotherapy. After that is done, you'll undergo a few basic measurements such as weight, height. All of this will be required to calculate the precise dose of chemotherapy for you. Once that is done, and once we have decided that we'll go ahead with chemotherapy, you'll be escorted to the chemotherapy daycare area. There you're going to take some time, get yourself set to the ambience and chill there. Then one of our well experienced and qualified staff is going to come and access a venous line. It could be a central line or a peripheral line. And then pre-medications are going to start. So what are pre-medications? Pre-medications are those medicines which are given prior to chemotherapy. This will reduce the risk of chemotherapy related side effects and also reduce the risk of allergic reactions. And after that, the main chemotherapy starts. Usually these are given in the form of medicines mixed within IV fluids and given over a fixed duration of time. And you will be continuously be monitored during the chemotherapy infusion, so there is no need to fear. And once the chemotherapy infusion is done, it may take as short as half an hour, sometimes as much as three to four hours. You will be rechecked, your vitals will be rechecked again. And then you may require some additional medicines to reduce the risk of side effects, including growth factors, which are given to reduce the risk of uh, reduction in WBC and platelets counts and all those things. And after that, you will be encouraged to take some rest for maybe a few minutes. Your vitals will be checked and then you will be given a discharge summary. It's going to contain the details about the chemotherapy which was just done. Also, it will have important information about the medicines which has to be taken at home. And then it will also have crucial information about how to get in touch with us in case of any issues at home. Additionally, it will also give you information about when you have to come the next time. So this is it. After that, you'll be fine to go home. That's about the chemotherapy session. So this is Dr. Swaroop and I'm a medical oncologist and I'm available at Sagar Hospitals. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us for any cancer-related queries. Wishing you the best.